Hi, this is Amanda Lester with Virtual Horse Help, and we're here at the Heart of Dixie Reining Horse Association and the Southeast Affiliate Regional Championships. And now we're going on to our next interview. Hi, this is Amanda Lester with Virtual Horse Help, and I'm here with Aubrey Gilbreth, who won the 14-18 youth, and Megan Martin, who won the 13 and under. Congratulations, ladies. We're going to start with Megan, if that's okay. Megan, tell me a little bit about your run. Um, well, when I went there, when I went in there, I was kind of planning to school, and um, it was really good, actually. It was probably one of the best rides we've had together, and I've only had her for a few months, so I'm really proud of what we've accomplished. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, you were really excited when you came out. We got a picture of that. We'll mm -hmm. throw it in here in the video. So tell us why you were so excited besides just the win and the high score. Um, I was excited because I've worked a lot with this horse, trying to get together with her, and she's a, she's a nice horse, and I just, it took me a while to get to know her, it took her a while to get to know me, and at first, our relationship, it just wasn't really good, and, and now we, it's just amazing what we've, how much we've bonded together, and I just, I've worked so hard to get good scores with this mare, I've worked seven days a week, it's just, <laughs> it's just been a long road, but we're getting there and so when I, I, it's been about six months since I got a 70 on her so feeling the encouragement of knowing that I can do it felt really good because I was definitely in a time of doubt. That is so awesome. Now what is your mare's name and her barn name? Um, her name is Chick with a Magnum and we just call her Maggie. That's cute. <laughs> so do you have anything else that you're showing in this weekend? Um, yeah, I'm going to be in the youth. That's basically it, and I'm going to do the affiliate class. Are you trying to qualify to go to Oklahoma City, or is this the last show of the year for you? Um, well, this is my last show, but if I qualify for Oklahoma, then I will happily go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you qualify because we will be there, because that's where we're from is Oklahoma. So if we are there and if you show up there, then find us. We'll be more than happy to talk, just to say hi. We won't put you on camera unless you want to. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Miss Aubrey, Miss winning all weekend here. Oh my goodness. So this was on Cortez, Cortez Conquistador, correct? Now tell me about your run tonight. Um, well, we have the non-pro tomorrow and uh, we are, it's funny actually, my sister Carly is second in the uh, Lifetime Youth and my oldest sister Melanie is sixth in the Lifetime Youth. And I'm very, very close to top 10 and so um, one of my goals in the next year and a half is to put myself in the top 10 um, with my sisters and my dad thinks that would be very cool. So we're just kind of trying to get points here and there and so that's why we've been showing in the youth on top of showing in the non-pro. Um, but I never ask for so much when we go in the non-pro or when we go in the youth. And one of the coolest things about him is slow or fast, 100% or 50%, uh, he just gives me so many beautiful maneuvers and he just loves to be right there and make me happy and make himself happy so we actually marked a 145 and um, it was just a really pretty clean run and I was really happy with him. I would say so that's an awesome run. So we've already talked a little bit about what you've got coming up next and all that so I'm gonna throw in just a crazy one real, real quick with you. If your horse was a famous person who would he be? Johnny Depp. He has so many different personalities, it's hilarious. <laughs> you didn't expect that one. I wasn't expecting that at all. That is so awesome. All right, Megan, same question to you is, if your horse was a famous person, who would she be? Um, probably like Hannah Montana and Miley Cyrus because she can, she can be so sweet, but then she has her moments where she is a mare. <laughs> but I love her so much, so. <laughs> Awesome. Well, good luck, ladies, and thank you again. Thank you so much. Amanda, it's a pleasure to be here tonight representing Markel. I am Frank Costantini, the Director of Western Disciplines. Uh, along with the team of specialists, we offer the uh, various products that Markel offers to the equine industry, primarily of the Western Disciplines. Markel, as you might know, is a specialty lines insurance company with the primary home office in Richmond, Virginia. We provide coverage for uh, almost all the equine 
entities that uh, participate in uh, what the ongoing of the horse world today, you know. We've had the good fortune of being able to offer farm and ranch coverage, caricasting control, uh, commercial auto, commercial horse trainers liability, professional horse trainers liability, and by and large mortality coverage for our equine investments. Uh, we've been affiliated with the NRHA for 20 plus years now, and hopefully we'll be in, in, in business and affiliated with the NRHA and the Western horse world for another 20 years. Along with that, it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege to be interviewed by Worldwide Slide, Virtual Horse Help. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, meeting of the minds and coming together. And uh, speaking for Markel, we are looking forward to working with you, with Cheryl, with uh, Tommy, and all the entities involved.